What is up, guys? Wanted to win here, and I bring you a showdown battle. This is an NU battle um, versus EH Mot 288. Um, this is using Leo's team. I'm on the other side of the course, talking for points, like I always do. And uh, I have Mandibus, Scarf Turtles, uh, Bandit Sock, Rain Dance, Ludicolo, Sub Disable Hunter, and Proper Pass. And my opponent has a lot of things that can set up. Uh, I'll bark with his coil. Combustion with Swords Dance and a speed boost going on. Uh, so, uh, Saws Buck with Swords Dance and Caracosta with the potential Shell Smash. But it looks like on this team it would be a Stealth Rocket. But we'll see once we get into the battle, which is about now. So um, he's going to start with his Primate. I'm going to start off with my Power Pass, of course, because I want to get my rocks up. And I have the Sturdy, so I'm not as scared of it. And um, he just goes for the U-turn to break my Sturdy. And then he goes into his Combustion, of course. And this thing usually protects and speed boosts and Sword Stance and Sky Uppercuts and, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm actually predicting... I didn't really predict him to, to protect. Uh, I just didn't think he would take me down to... Uh, out. Yeah, I didn't think he'd take me out because conversion is kind of weak. Not, I mean, to be serious without Sword Stance is not really a threat. But um, he decides to go for the Focus Blast and miss, and I go for the Volt Switch to get out of there. And Toros, uh, with the Intimidate, um, Toros is just going to come in here and outspeed because I am Scarf and kill it with a return. So he should have protected there, or he should have just went into Haunter, really. Uh, but he decided not to. Now he goes into All Block. I'm going to Amanda Buzz. Amanda Buzz? Amanda Buzz. <laughs> Apparently, this is a girl. Uh, some girl down the street named Amanda Buzz. And um, he goes for the coil, and I'm, I'm going for the taunt because I didn't want him setting up. But I really want, should have went for the foul play because he did set up. And a uh, foul play would have did a lot. I probably would have, no, it would have been 3 hit KO. But um, here, I'm trying to kind of roost until he misses the gun shock, but he's not missing the gun shock. But what I could do is just stall him out of PP with the gun shock. But like I said, I got poison, so that kind of wears down, uh, wearing me down. Looks like I wouldn't survive another turn anyway because uh, I am losing HP after the roost, even after the roost. So I just go for a foul play, get some damage off, and then once again, Taurus can come in and just finish off this uh, all block with a return, and that is it. Taurus is taking out two Pokemon, and he's not done yet. So. Uh, Primate comes out, I easily outspeed Primate even if it's golf, and I just go for the return and it just dies. <laughs> it didn't even stand a chance, so Karakasa comes out, I can't do anything because I am stuck in return. I go to my Ludicolo, I'm like, I can take anything that just, um, Karakasa can dish out at me, except I forgot about the Stone Edge, so I just, it, it, it died. So, <laughs> that was really dumb on my part. But I'm gonna go to the proper pass and um, I'm gonna be able to um, utilize my sturdy and go for the bolt switch. And that puts it in an amount of HP that I'm more uh, comfortable with bringing in Taurus and going for Earthquake. Uh, I don't know what the chances are me taking it out. It did have right herb, so this guy did return. Um, but I did get the Intimidate, so Waterfall is not gonna do that much. I do check here for the Aqua Jet by going to the Pro Pass, but he just goes for Earthquake and I'm saying, okay, he doesn't have the Aqua Jet, I go back into Tauros to get another um, attack drop, so even if he did, it would not have killed because he was back to um, normal attack stat, so um, I do take it out with the return, I believe that it was at the amount, he's going to go into his Hunter, I'm not really worried about that, goes for the Thunderbolt, I don't know why, he, uh, well, that makes sense because uh, I did have Taurus out and but it was obvious that was Scarf. I, I mean, I thought it was obvious that was Scarf. Maybe that this Hunter is Scarf and um, Primate was Bandit. I'm not sure. Uh, because he's just Thunderboating. And um, I really don't get my answer. Because um, he did survive the Ice Punch, though. I was really surprised that Hunter survived the Ice Punch for my A Choice Bandit sock. But whatever. Toast comes in, pursued it, keep it in here. Um, Solid Buck's gonna come in. Hunter can take whatever is it, literally whatever he wants to do, I can take it and then I can just pay him back with a sludge bomb. And that's what I do. So that was a good game, EH Mod 288. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the Toros action here. We don't get enough of it here. And I'm definitely gonna leave a link to um, Canadian Wildfire's stuff, um, his Toros. His tor uh, Toros set and stuff. You can look at that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.
Who is it? 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 Who is it?